Good evening, and welcome to our annual Distinguished Alumni Celebration. Tonight, we're honoring 13 individuals who have distinguished themselves after their time at Patrick Henry Community College. And although when you were walking around campus when you were a student here, it was Patrick Henry Community College, regardless of the name, it is still recognized as one of the top two-year colleges in the nation. The College Foundation holds a ceremony each spring, and I continue to be more and more impressed with the stories of the lives of those being honored. Tonight, I look through the audience and recognize members of previous classes. Distinguished alumni, you're welcome, and thank you for, that, for joining us tonight. And I'll turn it over to uh, Dr. Greg Hodges. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening, everyone. My name is Greg Hodges. I have the great pleasure of serving as the president here at Patrick and Henry Community College. We are so honored that you're here tonight at Patrick and Henry Community College, we have a singular focus, and that is the economic mobility of the community that we serve. And we have one way of moving the needle of that economic mobility, and that's by educating and training our students for what we call the J-O-B degree. The opportunity for them to get the skills and competencies they need to get a good paying job that will provide a great livelihood for themselves and their families. And you all tonight are the celebration of that reality. We could not be more honored and more impressed with the caliber of alumni that we are uh, uh, recognizing tonight. So thank you for your contributions on behalf of Patrick and Henry Community College and the work that you do. And we invite you to continue to pay it forward for us as we serve for the Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and Southern Franklin County communities. I'm gonna invite Frank Tatum to give our invocation tonight after which we will enjoy our meal. Frank is not only a distinguished alumni, Professor Tatum is a retired assistant professor of information systems technology and also, again, an distinguished alumni. Professor Tatum, the invocation, please, sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How y'all feeling? Good. At this time, <laughs> all right, thank you. At this time, we'd like to go through the order. Well. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this great occasion on the night. We thank you for each and every one that has been honored. And God, just bless you to continue on the great work, dear Lord. Now, Father, we just thank this board that have put everything together, dear Lord. Father, we know that it takes work to make something like this come together. Now we come to bless the food. Father, we thank you for your manifold blessings, dear God. And we ask you to bless this food, bless the hand that prepared it. Most of all, let it be nourishment to my body, consecrated to your service. We love you, praise you. For we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. <laughs> I do want to keep the program going, so I'm going to go ahead and get us started. Um, my name is Tiffany Underwood. I'm the Executive Director of the Patrick and Henry Community College Foundation, and I'm so pleased to see so many folks here tonight to help us celebrate a very special group of people. So thank you all for being here tonight, and uh, thank you especially to our uh, distinguished alumni that we will be celebrating. So this is officially the 16th annual Distinguished Alumni Dinner, and it is indeed a great night to be a patriot. I'd like to go ahead and take this opportunity to recognize a few of our former Distinguished Alumni who are here in the room. As I call your name, if you would stand or either give a little wave from your chair, either one, uh, for a round of applause, we want to be sure to recognize all of you uh, for being here as well. So we have Pam Allen, class of 2008, Joyce Staples, class of 2008. Rodney Mills, class of 2023. Frank Tatum, class of 2007. Gary Collins, class of 2007. Gary Dove, class of 2012. Tim Stone, class of 2018. Jackie Thornton, class of 2013. Ralph Lawson, class of 2012. Patty Anderson Russmeisel, class of 2015. Francis Wade, class of 2023. 
Pam Cobbler, class of 2019. Brad Draper, class of 2023. Also a very special thank you to Brad for the beautiful centerpiece uh, arrangements. They're gorgeous. Sabrina Tatum, class of 2015. And Robert Foster, class of 2011. Thank you all. Hopefully I did not miss anyone. Uh, if I did, I apologize. But uh, again, thank you all to our former distinguished alumni for being here to uh, uh, recognize this very special event. I'd also like to ask all of our foundation board members and college board members in attendance if they would stand or give a little wave from their chair for a round of applause as well. <laughs> We're so thankful for all that you do for the college and your dedication to uh, not only this great event, but everything that you do for the college and the foundation. And finally, if I could have the administration, faculty, and staff of PNHCC uh, either stand or wave uh, for recognition as well. And of course, this is not in the script, but I'm going to add especially because she did not stand up uh, all that much when I just <laughs> asked her to. But a very, very special thank you to Letitia Pulliam, who is right here in front of center. <laughs> this event would not happen without her. I know many of you know her because she's emailing you, she's checking up, she's making sure all the numbers are there. So thank you, Letitia, for everything. Um, so tonight, as we honor our uh, awardees, we will have two readers that will take turns um, recognizing each of the awardees. Uh, we will have Pam Allen and Joyce Staples. Pam is a uh, distinguished alumni, as I mentioned earlier. She is a PNHCC college board member, and she is also a PNHCC uh, foundation board member. Uh, Joyce Staples, also another distinguished alumni, as we mentioned earlier and a uh, retired faculty from PNHCC, um, retired board member from PNHCC Foundation, uh, and we keep asking her to come back whenever she's ready. <laughs> no pressure there. Um, but if you would, come on up and we'll go ahead and get started. Before we begin our awards presentation this evening, I would like to ask Patrick and Henry Community College President, Dr. Greg Hodges, okay, they are, to stand with us at the podium. Alonso, we would like to ask each of you to stand at your name is called and remain standing at your table while your biography is read, shared with everyone. We will then ask you to come forward and that remains in the front next to us after you receive your award. And we're going to do a photo at that time, but then we can, you can return to your table with your group, but please do not leave as we will have group photos at the conclusion of the program. Our first honoree of the evening is Jim Adams. Jim Adams completed credits toward his associate's degree from PNHCC in 1973. Adams is the branch manager of Tar Heel Paper and Supply. He also represented the, he also represented the Blackbird District on the Henry County Board of Supervisors since 2002. Adams is the current board chairman and served in that capacity in 20, 2008, 2012, 2013, and 2016 through the present. He served as vice chairman in 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2015. A graduate of Patrick County High School, he has been a purchasing team member at Bassett Furniture, a manufacturing team member at Nationwide Homes and West Window, purchasing manager at Bassett Walker, and logistics director at Monogram Foods. Adams is a member of the Sandville Ruiton Club, Bassett Kiwanis Club, and Patrick Henry Volunteer Fire Department. 
He serves as chairman of the West Piedmont Planning District Commission and is on the board of directors of Mark Workshop, Smart Beginnings of Martinsville and Henry County, Henry County Board of Zoning Appeals, West Piedmont Planning District, and Habitat for Humanity of Martinsville and Henry County. Adams is a member and elder at Stella Christian Church. While Jim was a student, he was a member of the Circle K Club, the college version of Kiwanis, and it instilled a love of the organization, and he has been a member for over 30 years. After seeing a posting on the college bulletin board, Jim took a part-time job in retail. It allowed him to take his first management job at age 18 with the high end of Apparel store Lazarus, located in the Patrick Henry Mall. I thought that was real interesting. And interact with all of the mall store managers and gain a strong business perspective. Jim met his wife Teresa at PNHCC. She had a math class before his math class with Neil Davis, so they would glance at each other as students were waiting for one class to dismiss and empty before the next class entered. They actually never talked until they happened to be off at an off-campus party at the fireman's cabin. Jim and Teresa had been married for 50 years. Some of his favorite instructors were Dolores Eames, Marie Garrett, John Buck, Whitey Pitts, Mill Davis, Martha Fulham, Ron Brown, and Jim McIntosh. Jim drove the same kind of car, a Canary Yellow Opal GT Sport that the same as Dr. Dr. Buck. It was always interesting to see two men, both over six feet tall, get out of their two-seater sports car. He was the photographer of the yearbook staff at the college and loved the journalism, journalism aspect. Jim has grown to be appreciative now, more than ever, of the impact that the college has had on the revitalization of our area and the positive hope it has brought to individuals and their families. Jim, we are proud of your continuing dedication to your community. Please join us at the podium. Our next honoree is Sharon Clark, who graduated with her associate degree in accounting. Sharon, are you up? There you are. From in 1994. She continued her education, earning a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from Agrid University in 2005. Clark retired in March after 40 years of employment at Valley Star Credit Union, formerly Martinsville DuPont Credit Union, where she began as a teller and served as a bookkeeper, member services manager, accounting manager, Director of Accounting, and most recently the Vice President of Accounting and Finance. A graduate of Laurel Park High School, she is on the Board of Directors and is the Secretary and Bookkeeper for Field Hill Council Rescue Squad. Clark is a member of Fontaine Realty Club and is on the Board of Directors and is the Budget Treasurer at J Star Ministries, where she also attends church. Sharon recalls Toby Gill and Ken Edwards as two influential professors. Mr. Edwards taught her all about economics, and Mr. Gill supported students volunteering by giving extra credit for donating blood and doing community service. She remembers using knowledge gained in a computer accounting class to create efficiency in month end reporting at the credit union. Her daughter, Ashley, was just a toddler when she was taking classes. Sharon graduated from PNHCC the same year that Ashley graduated from kindergarten. 
She always felt that Ashley being exposed to her having to study resulted in her being studious and now a successful pharmacist who also got her first college degree at BNHCC. Sharon, congratulations on your retirement. We are honored to recognize you tonight. Please join us at the podium. Andrew Doss. Andrew Doss earned his associate degree in information system technology from PHCC in 2003. He continued his education earning a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from Abbott University in 2009 and a Master of Science degree in information technology from the University of the Cumberlands in 2022. Doss currently serves as Director of Development, Data, and Integration at Bassett Furniture Industries. A graduate of Bassett High School, he began his career as a computer programmer at Stanley Furniture. He then became a Senior Programmer Analyst with the City of Danville before being a contact supervisor with Telvista, a Verizon contract where he was awarded as a top performing performer among all other supervisors nationwide. Doss is on the board of directors of the Martinsville Henry County Historical Society, is on the board of trustees of the Martinsville Henry County Academic Foundation, was past president and current registrar of the Colonel George Waller Sons of the American Revolution, and a member of Smith River Seniors. Doss created the Bassett Looking Back Moving Forward Facebook group dedicated to publicizing comprehensive history about Bassett, Virginia and its surrounding areas that has over 10,000 subscribers. Several instructors left a lasting impression on that landry long after his academic journey at the college ended. Bobby Whitlow played a pivotal role in explaining early programming concepts, fostering the foundational understanding in the field. Gail Wade's survey of American literature course was a transformative experience, igniting him with a curiosity for uncovering hidden meanings and insights with literary works. However, it was Randy Ferguson who truly stands out among all instructors. His instruction in the video production courses in the 90s resonated deeply with Andrew, emphasizing the importance of style and technique which are evident in the videos he produces for his YouTube channel today, which has over 500 subscribers. While at PHCC, Andrew's team produced the PH Newsbreak show. He also was involved in Godspell and the Carnival, two plays at the college in 1994. Andrew, we're so happy to have you in our PHCC family. Please join us at the podium. Our next honoree, Van Drury. <laughs> Graduated from PNHCC in 1975 with an associate degree in business management. He continued his education with continuing education certificates 
from Louisiana State University, the University of Maryland, and the University of Virginia. Drury is a retired adjunct instructor from Patrick and Henry Community College, where he served in workforce development and continuing education for 23 years. A graduate of Abbott Harris High School, he is a United States Air Force veteran. Drury served a tour in Vietnam as a sergeant before returning to Martinsville to become an insurance agent. He then worked as supervisor for E.I. DuPont. Drury was the first plant manager for the German-based company Mailer, Engineering Products Incorporated, and was a workforce services counselor at Virginia Employment Commission. He was also the director of adult education for over 20 years at Martinsville City Jail. Drury is a member of the Homer Dillard Post 78 American Legion, a charter member of the Carver Ruiting Club, a member of Piedmont Arts, and an elder at Fayette Street Christian Church. Van graduated after returning from the military and enrolled under the GI Bill. PNHCC then was a branch of the University of Virginia. He took a lot of elective courses in addition to those required for his degree. And little did he know at that time, those who helped to shape his career in the future. One instructor he greatly admired was Benjamin Gardner, who taught business law and other business courses. John Buck was his history professor, and Ann Gardner taught public speaking and her valuable lessons became long-term assets that he would later share with his students. Van had many positions during his working career, and he credits his education at the college as a catalyst for his success in business and industry. However, being in the right place at the right time afforded him the best job opportunity he ever had, and that was as an adjunct instructor in workforce continuing education at PNHCC. It was without a doubt the best working environment he could have hoped for because it enabled him to impact, hopefully in a positive way, the lives of so many young people and observe the change and growth process they go through while attending the college. For 28 years, he worked with some of the best educators and staff anyone could ask for. Dr. Cynthia Ingram, Rhonda Hodges, Brunel Thomas, Kathy Whittle Davis, and Lily Gibson were there from the beginning. They spoiled him. <laughs> and he loved every minute of it. <laughs> he gives a heartfelt thank you to this beautiful group of special ladies with amazing spirits. Van, you truly embody the spirit of once a patriot, always a patriot. Please join us at the podium. <laughs> Technology from PNHCC in 2016. She continued her education, earning a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in 2017 from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, a Master of Arts degree in Healthcare Administration in 2018 from Fayetteville State University, and a Doctorate in Educational Leadership in 2022 from Liberty University. Yeah. <laughs> Gaylor is a senior project manager at Inside Edge Consulting Group in Princeton, New Jersey, 
a graduate of West Town College Preparatory Boarding School. She worked in various positions at the George Washington University, was a group home counselor at Hope Tree Family Services, worked in the city of Greensboro manager's office, served as an administrator and program manager with the Virginia Department of Health, was director of community programs at Piedmont Access for Health Services Incorporated, and was director of programs at Goodwill Industries of Central North Carolina Incorporated. Gala holds certification. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. holds certifications in mental health first aid and as an extreme hip hop aerobic step instructor. Yeah. <laughs> Prior to relocating for her current position, she was on the boards of Salvation Army of Danville. Virginia Rural Health Association, West Piedmont Trauma and Resiliency Community Network, Department of Social Services, Danville Regional Foundation Health Collaborative, River District Association, and the Danville Police Department's Chief Advisory Board. Gaylord created Get Fit Queens, GFQ, which has supported organizations such as Performance 276, Refuge Temple Ministries, The Color Run, and Women Less Talk in Martinsville. Shawnee knows the library was a lifesaver for her from writing papers to having staff so kindly review them for her. She loved PNHCC so much that she introduced her brother to the Upward Bound summer program at an early age to join the high school to college pipeline. Shawnee sees Dr. Hodges and Dr. Gallatman as great examples to students, alumni, and community members as they, as they visibly and consistently show that no matter the title, being kind is important. Dr. Philia Briggs was a selfless and dedicated mentor to her. Marty Phillips allowed Shawnee to ask literally a billion questions throughout her entire program of information technology. She firmly believes that PNHCC is not only a school for students, but for the community as well. Johnny, we celebrate all of your accomplishments tonight. Please join us. At the Sean Hagley. <laughs> Sean Hagley graduated from PNHCC in 2005 with an associate degree in science. He continued his education at Avery University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice and a minor in sociology in 2007. Hagwood currently serves as a student support specialist with Roanoke City Public Schools. A graduate of Bassett High School, he began his career as a correctional officer at Western Virginia Regional Jail. His heart and passion to work with youth and his community led him to work as a family services specialist with the Roanoke City Department of Social Services. He then became a senior lead counselor with Dominion Youth Services, an athletics program supervisor with the city of Roanoke Parks and Recreation. Hagwood is on the board for Girls on the Run Central Virginia in Blue Ridge and is a certified official for Western Virginia Basketball Officials of America, Western Virginia Football Officials of America, and USA Softball. He is the coordinator of Hidden Valley Football League and an assistant basketball coach at Hidden Valley Middle School and the junior varsity lacrosse coach at Patrick Henry High School. 
Edward volunteers at Runner Rescue Mission and has organized Rally for the Valley, a food and toy drive for the mission. He recently developed an in-home mentorship and mental health skill building program at James Madison Middle School called Mission Possible, Matador Mentality, which will launch for the 2024-2025 school year. Some of Sean's fondest memories were being a part of one of the top college basketball teams in the VCCS at that time. His coach, Jay Joyce, helped him get to Avery University and compete at a higher level. The lessons that Coach Joyce taught him, Sean now uses with the players he coaches today. While at Avery, Sean was named to the 2007 USA South All-Conference basketball team. Coming out of high school, school rivalries ran strong, <laughs> so students from the local high schools were on the same campus for the first time. One of the first people that Sean became great friends with was Rodney Mills from Martinsville High School. Watching how hard Rodney worked to get himself into the University of Virginia had a positive effect on Sean. Rodney took him under his wing during time in the Student Government Association and the Interclub Council. Professor Joe King taught him the lesson of punctuality, saying, quote, I live near the North Carolina line, and if I can make it here on time, so can you. The end of the quote. For someone who liked to make an entrance, Sean learned very quickly that he would, could not come to Mr. King's class late as the door would be locked, and no matter how much you knocked, you were not getting in. <laughs> Needless to say, that was the first and last time he was late to his class. <laughs> Sean needed to fill the class, so he thought theater would be an easy A, not realizing a play would be involved. <laughs> Dan Spa made it so much fun and pushed everyone to be great in the production of Pippa. Sean, you are a magnificent role model in all the youth you work with. Please join us at the podium. System Technology from PNHCC in 2014. She continued her education, earning a Bachelor of Science degree from Liberty University in Information Technology, Application, and Database Development in 2020, and a Master of Education in Instructor, Instructional Design and Technology from Regent University in 2022. She is currently taking classes in Master Commissioner of the Revenue with the State of Virginia. Harrison is the Commissioner of Revenue for Henry County. A Bison High School graduate, she began her career as a computer technician with City, Martinsville City Public Schools. She then was a technology specialist with Henry County Public Service Authority, the PSA, before becoming a system analyst with the PSA. She ran Mount Lunas, the financial system for the Treasurer's Office, Public Service Authority, Henry County Sheriff's Office, 911 Commissioner of the Revenues Office and Henry County Public Schools. In January, she was elected to the position of the Commissioner of Revenue. Harrison also holds a pharmacy technician, technician degree and is an Apple certified IRS and Mac technician. She has coached basketball for Henry County Parks and Recreation, and her family established the MHC LOT 
which is the Martinsville and Henry County Leaders of Tomorrow baseball and softball travel teams. Tiffany has a great experience at PNHCC. She met so many people who are still her friends. Frank Taylor was one of her technology teachers, and she really enjoyed his classes. Kelly Crockett was an excellent math teacher who truly cared about the success of her students. Tiffany, thank you for your dedication in our community. Please join us at the podium. Administration of Justice in 2012. He continued his education, earning a Bachelor of Science degree from Liberty University in Criminal Justice Public Administration in 2022. Hines currently serves as the Captain of Investigations for Henry County Sheriff's Office. A graduate of Hackett County High School, he began his career in public service with Martinsville Police Department as a patrol officer. He was then assigned as a task force officer with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, the ATB. During his time years with the Martinsville Police Department, he served in multiple positions, including patrol sergeant, patrol lieutenant, criminal investigations, captain of, captain of patrol unit, captain of the investigations division, as well as SWAT team commander and honor guard commander. He has achieved the FBI LLDA Trilogy, Supervisory Command and Executive for Leadership, the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police Institute for Leadership in Changing Times, and Police Executive Research Forum, Senior Management Institute for Police. Hines has been the recipient of the Crime Stoppers Award, the ATF Distinguished Service Medal. He is on the Board of Directors for God's Pit Crew, a council member at the Church of Mercy Crossing, and a volunteer at large for Battle Star Credit Union. Sandy's wife, Tara, is also a graduate of PNHCC from the nursing program. Bill Jamison was an incredible professor and inspired him to continue with administration of justice classes. Sandy, you are an excellent asset to our community. Please join us at the meeting. Certificate in Computer Machine Operation in 1984. Steve and Diane Martin are the owners and operators of Steve Martin's Trenching. Graduates of Bassett High School, they started their business from their home. Almost 40 years later, Steve Martin's Trenching Inc. has grown to an impressive fleet of large and small equipment, numerous work trucks, a full-time payroll, and several multi-million dollar contracts involving municipalities throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia. Current projects include a full site package for press glass manufacturing plant in Henry County, the Virginia Tech Chiller Line, the View Apartment Complex in Blacksburg, and the Southern Virginia Mega Site at Berry Hill Industrial Park. The Martins have coached and sponsored many local sports teams through the years and extracted, transported, and installed the old press box at Martinsville Speedway to the baseball field at Bassett High School. They also are actively involved in their church's various ministries. 
After meeting at Bassett High School, Marion Wade to them, their words, they both took classes at PHCC. Dwight Bowen was Steve's welding instructor and the person he has looked up to for years. Not only was he a great teacher of the trade, but Dwight taught Steve how to deal with people. Diana took business and computer classes. Steve started his business in 1985 with a 20-horsepower ditch witch and a pickup truck, along with $3,500 in debt. He incorporated in 1995, and Diana officially joined the company. The business began in their home with the equipment accumulated in the side pasture. In 1998, they built an office in a shop a mile from their home on Stones Dairy Road in Stanley. Through the years, a power shop has been built, and the entire back lot is filled with equipment. The, the company has built great working relationships with Henry County PSA, Stanley W. Bowles Corporation, Friend Construction, New Atlantic Construction, and the Martinsville Speedway. The future of Steve Martin Trenching Inc. is in great hands. Their son, Patrick, also a PNHCC graduate, is the vice president and oversees the day-to-day -day operations. Their daughter, Jordan, works on and revises the business handbooks and manuals when needed in addition to her job at the Veterans Administration in Taylor. The Martins and their company have always operated under a simple philosophy. Put God first, surround yourself with good people, and work with reputable companies. They, need, they know PNHCC is an excellent place to improve yourself and your future without having a huge college debt and has vocational opportunities that can provide a comfortable living. Steve and Diana, we are so proud that your success started at PNHCC. Please join us at the podium. general education and his associate's degree in business administration from PNHCC in 2013. He continued his education at the University of Phoenix, earning a Master of Business Administration in 2017. Santa Emma served as the Chief Executive Officer at Central Carolina Hospital in Sanford, North Carolina. A graduate of Magna Vista High School, he began his career in healthcare at Sova Health System, formerly Memorial Hospital of Martinsville in Henry County, as the Director of Customer Service and Patient Scheduling. He was then promoted to Director of Physician Relations and Business Development at Sova. Santa Emma then moved into the role of Associate Administrator at Saline Health System in Benton, Arkansas followed by a stint as Chief Operating Officer and Ethics Compliance Officer for, for Star Regional Medical Center in Athens, Tennessee. He is a certified professional in patient safety and a graduate of LifePoint Executive Fellows Program. Santa Emma was a board member of the United Way and Chamber of Commerce while in Tennessee and is pursuing memberships with the Kiwanis Club Rotary Club, and United Way in Sanford. Dave's favorite professor was Jason McElwitch, who made classes fun and had a knack for explaining math that was understandable. He took multiple classes with Professor McElwitch and was always excited to know he would be his professor. Dave 
We are so proud of your success. Please join us at the podium. Our next honoree is Houston Stumps. <laughs> Houston Stumps graduated from PNHCC in 2010 with an associate's degree in general studies by participating in the ACE program, being dual enrolled in high school and college. He continued his education at James Madison University, earning a bachelor's degree in media arts and design with a journalism concentration and minors in sports communication and coaching in 2014. Stokes is the operations and marketing coordinator for the Smith River Sports Complex, operated by Henry County Parks and Recreation Department. A graduate of Bassett High School, he began his career as a media relations assistant for the Jupiter Hammerheads baseball team in Jupiter, Florida. Stoltz returned to Henry County and was hired as the director of marketing and public relations and volunteer coordinator of the Smith River Sports Complex. When Henry County Parks and Recreation took over the complex, his title changed to his current position. Stokes is also the head men's soccer coach at Bassett High School, as well as the assistant men's soccer coach at Patrick and Henry Community College. He is a member of the board of directors for Piedmont Youth Soccer League, PYSL, and Hughes Memorial Foundation. Stokes is a Piedmont Youth Soccer League Recreation and Academy soccer coach and a coach for Upwood Basketball at Fort Trial Baptist Church. He is the president of the Martinsville Henry County Habitat for Humanity organization. Houston was recently awarded the 2024 Young Professional of the Year Award from the Martinsville and Henry County Chamber of Commerce. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Since Houston graduated from PNHCC while he was still a student in high school, he was not involved in on-campus activities and clubs. He remembers LaDonna Varner, who was his dual enrollment English teacher at Bassett High School and who is now at college. She was a fantastic teacher that really pushed him to think critically and improve his writing tremendously. Her class was also a challenge, but he knows she's a big reason he continued to pursue journalism when he entered James Madison University. Houston, we are so happy you continue to be a part of the college and work with our student athletes. Please join us at the podium. associate's degree in general studies in 1980. She continued her education at Longwood University, earning a degree in recreational therapy in 1983. Warren is the executive director of Tactfully Teen Riding Academy, recently celebrating 20 years of therapy with horses, and is a member of Professional Association of Therapeutic Horsemanship and Therapeutic Riding Association of Virginia. 
The Academy has over 50 regular riders from ages 3 to 92, two certified instructors, and a group of dedicated employees and volunteers. The Academy is very involved with community outreach with collaborations with King's Grant, Abbott Harris Elementary School, the Physical Therapy Assistant Program at PNHCC, and Eagle Scout Community Projects, to name a few. Tactfully Team has hosted the Wounded Warriors, church groups, and other organizations. A graduate of Bassett High School, she began her career as a therapist at the Psychiatric Center in London. Warren then worked as a therapist in positions in Florida and Georgia before returning to Henry County and Blue Ridge Rehab in Stanley Town. She also worked at Edwards Adult, Edwards Adult Daycare Center before forming Tactful Team. Warren is a certified recreational therapist and a certified professional association of therapeutic horsemanship instructor. Tactful Team Beloved Horse Royal was chosen Outstanding Therapy Horse of the Year by the Therapeutic Riding Association of Virginia. Susan has been a Sunday School instructor and youth leader and is a member of Stone Memorial Christian Church. The first thing Susan noticed about PNHCC was that students were expected to follow a syllabus for each class on their own and be responsible for their own work. <laughs> Imagine that. She was working a full-time job at Martinsville Hospital in dietary department. She remembers Eileen Wilson, who taught chemistry. Before the exam, at the end of the semester, Mrs. Wilson told the class, quote, no matter what, you have to be at this exam on one of these two dates, no excuses, end of quote. Well, several people at the hospital got the flu, including Susan. She called to tell Mrs. Wilson how sick she was and was told no excuses. You can sit in the hall at the table away from everyone else, but you have to come. She had a place waiting for her near the bathroom and brought Susan snacks and drinks the whole way through the exam. Well, Susan passed. <laughs> Mrs. Beans was her biology teacher and made class so interesting. Susan looked forward to it every week. Milt Davis, her statistics teacher, and Susan could not figure out anything out of, or understand how anything was probable. He was very patient with her, but called her skipping class one day. Susan, really? Susan. Without calling her out, in the next class he said, those who tend to skip my class have a high probability of not doing well. <laughs> she never missed another class. Martha Brilliman taught American literature and sparked Susan's love of reading. She also had the privilege to be on the first cheerleading squad at PNHCC. They wore old Bassett High School uniforms, but they had a lot of fun. Susan felt prepared to further her education as she transferred to Longwood. Susan, we are so proud of your passion to make this world a better place for everyone. Please join us at the party. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. It has been a pleasure to have been a part of the college's 16th annual Distinguished Alumni Dinner and to recognize so many exceptional individuals. All alums honored this evening, we ask that you please remain for group photos. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Greg Hodges to the podium for the closing remarks.
Would our 13 alumni please stand one more time? Thank you. You can be seated. As the bios were read tonight, I could not help but be reminded of the impact that each of these alumni are having upon our community. It is no wonder that in the community is this college's middle name. You are proving every single day that our desire to improve the economic well-being of this community is having an impact, and we are honored that you, for most of you, began your career here at Patrick and Henry Community College. As you heard, uh, we would like to take a group photo. So here's what we're going to do. It is 8.15. I know some of you want to uh, do some more hugging and slop sugar and all that good stuff. So I'm going to give you five minutes to do that. All right? I'm going to give you five minutes. And then at 8.20, we're going to ask that the award winners, if the alumni would please join us outside. You do not need to bring any of your awards or plaque or anything. You can leave that at the table. And if you would like to take pictures of them, you're welcome to do that. But at 8.20, all the members who received awards tonight, if you would please uh, join us outside. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being with us tonight.